Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. Uh, tonight what I have here is something called Bubblecraft White. It's made from the Oliver Winery and Vineyards in Bloomington, Indiana. I've never been there, um, but I saw this on a closeout shelf and I was going through my uh, one of my um, wine coolers. I have a uh, wine cellar, but uh, I keep stuff like this, champagne and a few things I like cold uh, in, in, a, um, in a special refrigerator that I keep my wine in. And um, I got this at a closeout and it was uh, $5.99. Uh, it's 11% by volume alcohol and it's made from uh, Niagara grapes which is a uh, grape that's native to uh, North America. They make a red and a white. Uh, Niagara grapes are red. Uh, but apparently they, they uh, obviously they've crushed the uh, juice, uh, pressed the juice out of it and separated immediately from the skins to give us a nice white pure juice, uh, no skin contact, no rosé, no red, uh, just the juice. It should be light and refreshing and uh, I kind of know what Niagara grapes uh, taste like. I used to grow them. Um, so, you know, a refreshing um, wine uh, on a hot summer day, $5.99 folks, unless I got to spit it out. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, it almost uh, is like a big beer. It's got a, a, a cap. I'm going to have to open it with a, uh, like a bottle opener. So, oh yeah. Got a little hiss out of her. Um, so let's see what we have here. Ooh, look at that. It's fizzing up. Man, fizzing up. Like a beer. It's got a little head on it. Mm. I'd say it smells exactly like Niagara grapes, but if you don't know what Niagara grapes uh, smells like, because that's, like I said, I used to grow them, I used to eat them right off the vine all the time. Uh, and it's got a unique smell. That's, uh, it's got a kind of a sweet, um, I'm trying to think of something else besides Niagara grapes. If you don't know what Niagara grapes smells like, does that ain't going to help you. All right, I got something. Let's say this. Uh, jelly is generally made out of Concord grape, okay? Uh, but I'm going to say the closest thing to what this smells like would be to stick your nose in a jar of Concord uh, Welsh's grape jelly, all right? And take a nice whiff of that when you open it up, and that's that's about the closest thing to this, all right? Now, see, I'm surprised here. Okay, there it is. Um, the reason I said I was surprised, because I obviously know what this grape, I'm very familiar with the taste of this grape. Um, and I was expecting it to taste just like the grape tastes. A lot of times, wines made from that grape taste just like the grape. My first initial taste of this, my first initial taste of this was cotton candy absolute no doubt about it the finish was the Niagara grape um, but now I taste the cotton candy again uh, this tastes like cotton candy uh, slight effervescence you know a little bit of bubbles um, if you want a wine with some bubbles in it uh, that smells kind of pleasant and tastes pretty much exactly like cotton candy, uh, I have the wine for you. Bubblecraft Effervescent Soft White Wine from Oliver Vineyard. Uh, there's a certain segment out there that's going to love this. A lot of you won't, but uh, it's going to be too sweet for you. It's really not. But, I mean, uh, you talk about just a cold party wine on a really hot day. Um, that's what you have here. So I, I've explained to you <laughs> the price, and I explained to you the uh, taste. So you decide what you can uh, use it for. All right? From Hillbilly Wine 101, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, be out here with the birds. I got my fish pond over here. I'm going to go over there and feed my koi fish here in a minute. And um, I'm, I'm going to drink this. 
and I'm going to enjoy it because I enjoy everything. I, I appreciate all the efforts that all the winemakers put into making their wines. I really do. Um, and this hat, if you're wondering, this is the uh, Louisville uh, uh, Fire and Rescue Pipes and Drums. Uh, I used to be a member of it. I played bagpipes for them. So, um, again, everybody, from Hillbilly Wine 101, cheers.